years now, right? It's just starting, you know, spring is here. It's just starting to pop out bud after bud after bud. It's probably the most substantially impactful uh, plant that we have here. We've made it a today special in the past. We love it. Why? Well, because it's got so much character. First of all, they braided the bottom and the bottom actually has three different um, varieties of the hibiscus in it, right? So it's multi-braided down below. And then on top of it, you'll see red, yellow, pink, orange. It's a kaleidoscope of colors. I'll spin it a little bit so you can see some of the other colors on it. Look at how beautiful this is. Uh, inside the plant is gorgeous. What you're gonna get with this one is you are gonna get an established tree. I'm gonna move this up front in the sun so you can see it. This is exactly what you will get in the mail. It'll come in a tall box, okay? You wanna get it right out of the way and put it in a nice big pot. But uh, let me just tell you right now, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Th there are buds all over this. You will instantly start to get flowers. The price is only $69.95 with free shipping and handling. I encourage you to get in early. It's free shipping and handling. This is, uh, I would say, Rochelle, a definite star in the show of your garden, right? It absolutely is. I mean, I'm up here in New England. It is still, uh, it's spring, barely. Uh, it's, it's chilly out. And I have loved having this in my studio office here over the last week. Sadly, right now, there's no blooms on it, but it has had pink and red and yellow and orange all week. I've got, just like you down there in the studio, I have dozens of buds here. It came out of the box like that. And that's how it's gonna come to you as well. This will be covered in blooms all summer. I put mine out on my steps here um, all summer long. It kind of is good with the water that it gets from the rain. I don't even bother. I mean, we get, a, we get a lot of water here. If you live in a hot place, you're gonna need to water it. That is one of the reasons why you do wanna get it into a bigger pot or if you live down south, um, like all the way down in Florida where it doesn't frost, you can actually plant it in the ground. Anywhere else, you're gonna need to put it in a container because this isn't gonna be hardy in your garden any place where you get a frost or a freeze. Uh, you will need to bring it in. But I have I have three, I think, in the other room um, that you know are house plants when it's um, not garden time outside. Um, they do just fine. They don't bloom through the winter, they bloom through the summer. But in the winter, what I have is these nice topiary shapes as a house plant. They just keep their foliage. Uh, you water them all winter. You upgrade that pot size though. The pot size is really gonna help it to be healthy and blooming. It's also gonna be easier on you because a bigger pot means you don't have to water it quite as much. Right, These right. do want a lot of water and fertilizer, so make sure you do that. Get the leaf and petal plant food. That will just help to keep those blooms coming and coming and coming. This is a workhorse of a plant. It needs that little kick. But if you give it, give it, give it what it needs, put it in a nice big pot, it is going to pump oh. out those blooms, no matter where you live. I mean, if you, if you're up here in New England, I had a friend a few years ago, it was gorgeous. And she had four or five, maybe even six of them. I can't oh, remember. Yeah. She had them all around her pool in pots. Oh. It was so pretty well, with, and she had some other plants underneath, you know, yeah. you don't have to just leave it. You could do a bigger it's, pot with other things underneath. It was a beautiful display. It's, beautiful. Such a, it's such a tropical plant. And people think, I can't have hibiscus. I got to go yeah. to Hawaii for that. I got to go down to Florida. You don't have to, right? You can grow these things no. anywhere. They just need some sunshine. So if you have it, you know, in the springtime, if you keep it inside, if it's a cool day, right, before you put it out uh, for yeah. summer. But these will grow most anywhere. I think Pat uh, said we have a couple, maybe a picture of mine at my house. I wish I could show it to you right now. It's full of blood. There's mine. Okay. And that oh, was, there that, it is. yeah, that was last year. And that's that was right when the flowers started coming up. You see the red came up first and then the orange comes after that. And you get an idea of the size of the pot. They are so, look at those flowers. The flowers are amazing, by the way. Um, and the buds, uh, they're so pretty. And what I love about a hibiscus too, is that um, on this one especially, I notice um, every day I probably have five, six, seven big buds on mine. Every day, okay? Mm -hmm. um, sometimes more. And they only last for one day. That's the romantic part about hibiscus. They only last for one day and then they fall to the ground, right? I take them out and I put them back in the pot because I make mulch out of them. The next day, there's another five, six, seven, eight that are already blossoming. All right, we started off, we had about 1,100. I think our left counter is down to about 865 or something like that. So these are going very quickly. If you want one, you're gonna get this. All right, this is not like the rose tree, which was the, the bare rootstock. This is actually established and ready to go with little baby buds on it. So when you get it, it's gonna be a matter of a week or two or three, you're gonna already get a whole bunch of flowers. So it really delivers. 
it's a worthwhile investment. I've owned mine for four years, Rochelle, and I gotta tell you, I look forward to it every season. And I never bring mine in, even though we got into the 40s, uh, in, in Florida here in the wintertime, yeah. 30s and 40s, I didn't have to bring it in. I just kind of cut it back a little bit. Um, but right now, remember, yeah. you, you'll get yours when it's ready to go into a pot. Uh, you get it, I mean, you, you get it and you can, leave it in, you can leave it in the sun inside your house if you've got a, you know, an area like that. But we mm -hmm. know where you live, so when we ship it to you, you could put it right outside in a pot and let it soak up the sun. Love sun. Mine loves a lot of water yeah. because it's a big pot. And remember, and I, I've kind of learned this because Rochelle taught me a lot, of, a lot of stuff, that, you know, when you have a plant that gives off a lot of flowers, it's, it's thirsty. It's, it's creating a lot of buds. Yeah. It's going to need water. But it's worth it. I mean, I, and I love watering it. I water mine like every couple of days. Easy. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I put this in with a lot of my other container uh, plants, and I do a big collection of container gardens on my driveway so it's all kinds of containers at different heights this is a perfect thing to be part of that one because it has all these colors it kind of makes coordinating all your colors a little bit easier it's a real eye-catching piece it's got great height so you know no matter whether you're putting it on the ground or you're setting it up a little higher this is something that's going to draw your eye up in your garden as a designer i'm always kind of trying to get people's you know faces off just the ground but up a little bit and so you have something pretty at eye level Great right in a container. You really do need to keep it in a container if you're anywhere but in Florida because it is not hardy. You'll need to bring it in. Treat it like a house plant in the winter. It's gorgeous as a house plant. And then every year you'll get uh, these blooms. Just, you know, guy's got his outside all year round. I've got mine. I've had mine, I think, about four years, too. I've got three of them in the other room. Oh, my gosh, They come yeah. back every year. I prune them back. They, you know, I don't necessarily need to. I just like to keep them nice and tidy. But, um, uh, yeah, they're they're easy, easy, easy to grow, uh, you know, and just like this tropical look when you're not in the tropics is such a nice. Oh, isn't it? You know, if you're doing a staycation or even yeah. just you know evening dinners on the patio, just to feel like you know you're somewhere else. You're not, you know, having to show up at work tomorrow. You can kind I, of imagine you're on a it, vacation. It, <laughs> yeah, well, it's always been the star of my patio. Although I am buying the butterfly, I'm buying two butterfly bushes today, so I'm sure my hibiscus is yep. going to be jealous of those two. And guess what else? <laughs> I guess what else I ordered today? The patio rose tree. I'm going to get that as well because now I want mm. that way. I'll have I'll have a, I'll have a friend for my hibiscus tree. They can hang out together. So listen, they go well together, right? by the way. Same the, colors. The roses and yeah. these. Yeah. Very similar color scheme. Yeah, they'll go beautifully together. And, and the best part is, is you've got you get a lot of bang for your buck. Yeah, this is not a cheap plant. It's sixty nine ninety five. We took 